Hey guys, happy Wednesday to you. I wanted to make a video on how to enjoy being single and the three things that you need to master before you meet someone. If you want to have a positive outcome with the best experience. I am Angela Jean, the official breakup coach, teaching you how to break up with the outdated version of yourself and step in to the new you. Dating has changed. I think we can all agree with that. The dating climate today, no matter where you live, is very challenging. So I'm starting to create these videos to really teach you how to strive and thrive. The one thing we can all agree on with anything in life is the more that you resist change, the more difficult life will be. So it is very imperative that you guys learn how to acclimate to the way dating is today. Modern dating has changed. If you are 35 plus, you are going to have to acclimate a lot more than the 20 plus people because our generation was different and things have changed dramatically due to social media and due to the access that we all have to each other. So in this video, I just want to tell you the three things that you need to master so that you actually learn to enjoy the process and so that dating does not defeat you. So let's go ahead and jump into number one. So number one is dating detached. And before you resist what I'm saying, let me explain. I want you to learn and master how to date detached from the expectation, not from the experience, okay? It's always the expectation that will lead you down a rabbit hole of disappointment because we meet someone, we like them, all of a sudden we paint them into our fairy tale and when it doesn't go as planned, we're disappointed, we're discouraged and then we hate dating. You guys really have to learn how to master these things before you meet someone because if you're going into dates with expectations and you're being let down and you're being let down, what this is doing, it's knocking your self-worth, it's knocking your confidence. So when you do meet someone that you're super excited about, you're probably not going to be able to show up as the partner you should be because you've taken so many nicks and blows. It's very important that you are confident, that you have self-worth, because then you're going to show up as your best self when the person that you're meant to be with is put in front of you. So how do you date with no expectations? This is what I have started doing. There's two things. One, I have started dating guys that aren't my type. They're either younger or just not my visual type. And by doing this, I have really been able to explore people and really enjoy the experience. And it's been very lovely and it's so peaceful because you don't have all the pressure that you put on yourself when the person that's your ideal type is in front of you. When you go out with people that aren't really your type, it's interesting how you can find yourself falling for people that aren't your type. And when you do something like this, it really broadens your scope of who you will date moving forward. And you realize that your type has become so much broader because you enjoy the interaction with this other person. Think of it like this, you guys. Imagine that your friend called you and she's like, hey, can you go pick my friend up? They have a layover in your town for an hour or two. And you're like, sure. You go pick this person up, you take them to lunch, you guys have a good conversation, you drop them back off, and you spend an hour or two enjoying this person. Okay, well, that's kind of what it's like to date for the experience. You're a bit of a tourist and you're just enjoying the experience. That's really how you need to learn to date date, to go enjoy the experience, no expectation. If something comes of it, great. If something doesn't, great. You know what I mean? Just learn to enjoy the experience versus the expectation. The number two thing to master before you meet someone is to stop idealizing other people's relationships. Just because someone is in a relationship does not mean they are happier than you. And I see this validated all the time. I will see so many couples on social media that look like the happiest people ever. And then I'll run into them at a restaurant and I can hear them fighting. Do not be blinded by social media. Do not think 
just because someone is in a relationship that they are happier than you. And the reason why it's very important to master this before you get into a relationship is because you don't want to choose a partner just because you don't want to be alone. You don't want to pick a partner and settle for something that might not serve you just because you think that that means you're going to be happy like everybody else. Don't think that being in a relationship is where your happiness lies. So many people I know would love to unravel the relationships that they are in, but they're too lazy to do it. So they sit and they settle. So don't think that you need to be in a relationship to make yourself happy because that will have you picking partners from chaser energy, from a place of lack, from a place of neediness, from a place of desperation, and that always has you choose the wrong partners. And number three, the one thing you need to master before you meet someone is that you are getting everything you ask for in the dates that you are attracting. And the reason why you need to master this and the reason why you need to learn to see yourselves in others is because so many of the times we are sitting across from someone that's mirroring back parts of us, the good and the bad. Why you need to master the mirroring that you see in the people that you are attracting is because one, anytime you put someone on a pedestal and you admire them, they're most likely reflecting back a beautiful part of yourself. And this will help build your confidence. We are also attracting things that we need to work on. And the reason why we need to learn to identify this is because this is only going to make us a better person, a better partner when we do align with the person that we're supposed to be with. Example, if you want to be in love and you keep attracting guys that are unavailable, oftentimes the universe is not going to just give you love because you want to be in love. It is going to give you an opportunity to learn to love. Maybe you need to be more patient. Maybe you need to be more vulnerable to be the partner that will survive and be able to thrive in a loving, lasting relationship. So the universe is going to give you someone that will teach you patience. It's going to give you someone that'll teach you to be more vulnerable. So do you understand where I'm going with this? It's very important that you pay attention to who you're attracting because oftentimes it's an opportunity for you to expand and grow within so that you can align for the person up here that God's source universe has for you. So you need to master how to see yourselves in other. Beauty and the beast, actually, because the beauty will build your confidence and the yucky stuff that you need to work on will show you where you need to change to become the person you need to be to maintain and attract the relationship that you want. So those are the three things that you should focus on while you are being single. And those are the three things that I think that you should master before you meet someone if you want to have a long lasting, healthy relationship. All right, guys, hopefully those three tips were helpful and striving and thriving in this difficult dating climate that we are living in. If you have any tips of your own, please leave them in the description box below. There's also a link to a worksheet that will help you get unstuck in love. <laughs> you know, if you're ruminating over something, ruminating over a past experience, there's a little worksheet that I have created in the link below. Otherwise, I will see you guys this weekend with a new video. Bye.